Good morning, my business lovers. It's Jennifer Beaumont White here on day 27 of the Business Love Vlogging Challenge. And today is the day that I'm going to give you my viewpoint on the Brit exit that occurred last week. We've had a few days and a, and a weekend to get over it, basically, because we're in it, we're here. And I, personally, I don't think the government's actually going to activate Article 50, but, you know, who knows? The point I'm trying to make here today is that as business owners, we are used to facing challenges and solving problems. That's what's, what business is all about. Many inventions, many pioneering ideas have been born out of drastic situations. And this to me is a drastic, unknown, uncharted situation. Nobody knows what's going to happen. We effectively have no government at the moment and the opposition seems to be falling apart as well. However, as a business owner, as business owners and entrepreneurs, we can take this as an opportunity for doing something amazing. Throughout history, people have, business owners, entrepreneurs, pioneers have invented things. They've um, created things, they've made things happen because necessity is the mother of invention. Remember that we can still keep going no matter what the government throws at us, no matter what happens in life, as a business owner, we can make things happen. And this is a prime opportunity for us to say, hey, you know what, what I've got to offer is brilliant. It's gonna make a difference. It's gonna change the world. Because as I said before, the leaders the government and our religious leaders aren't doing it. So we can step up to the plate and say, hey, you know what? What is needed right now? What can we do? What can we make the, what, what can we do to actually make things different, make them better than they were before? Lots of things have been invented, like the tin can, for example, was invented to preserve, actually it was um, developed, it wasn't, I think it was developed, um, it wasn't actually invented for preserving food for the army. However, the army, the Royal Navy took it, took it over and made it into a mass production so that we have, um, they can preserve food while they're on their manoeuvres. And then that spread out into the army and now it's, a, it's in mass production. Um, the telegraph was invented because we um, across the Americas, from Britain to um, America, there needed to be faster communication. So telegraph, which led to telephone, which led to television, which leads to the fact that I'm actually speaking to you on this video now and I'm going to be transmitting it in a minute. So out of necessity comes invention. And we are in a position to say, hey, let's grab this opportunity to make something amazing happen. And this week I've got some amazing things happening for myself. I mean, over the weekend I did the um, women inventing, <laughs> inventing women, elevating women. Um, I was one of the guest speakers and I conducted the mastermind session, which is amazing. Everybody loves that. And more masterminding is going to be going on on the 6th of July at the Business Love London July um, event. So hope to see lots of you there. Don't forget, if you've been before, it's um, £25. It's only £25 for three hours of huge, huge um, innovation, ideas, communication, connection and collaboration. And if it's your first visit, it's free for you to check us out and see what we're doing to change the world. And um, this afternoon, I'm going to be rehearsing for my new radio show, Inspiration Junction, the Inspiration Junction show on Power Extra FM, which starts on July 1st from two o'clock to four. So lots of inventive and pioneering things that I'm doing for myself and for you guys this week. So hang tight. Things are going to be fine because you are going to make them better. The world will be a better place for you being in it and being a, an amazing business lover. This is Jennifer Bowman White signing off from from um, uh, day 27. See you later on, perhaps, or maybe for day 20, 28. Only a few more days till I finish. Oh my God, I can't wait. Love you loads. Bye now.